premium. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to. I'm... No. <laughs> Gosh, we're not continuing that conversation. And we're back. We're back. We are back. Premium. Uh, Prem. From like, wait, it must be. Mm -mm -mm. As tiles... in the root of two pre. Mountain tiles provide a standard adjacency bonus to those types of districts. You know what? I'm going to do that. Oh. Do Ooh, that. Look at all that. Well, Nagulu Mapu yeah. has had quite the glow up ever since I captured it way back in the day. Yeah, right. Um, and I decided. It's like, it, listen, we've made this into a much better society. Yeah, in order to in order to commemorate could. that, I decided to build a wonder up here. Um, oh my god. Uh, what what were we talking? So, in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, <laughs> in 2077, what makes someone a criminal? What makes someone a criminal? No, uh, Get they... it, talk. <laughs> and then they cut you off with the loud ass fucking cyberpunk music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now, when they. Pre premium is like shortened to preem, which is like excellent or like dope. It'll just sound badass. wrong. Does it? I. I I like it just that term. Sound right. I like that term so much that I want to start using it in real life. No. I want. But well, why not? That's preem. That, but like P R E E M, preem. It still doesn't make any sense. Pre premium. Like, as okay, in. I'm sorry. What word was it replacing? Premium. No, no, no. What was it like? What did it mean in the game? It it means like excellent, dope, or or cool. Like if okay, you could save yourself a few syllables and just say dope. Cream is the same amount of syllables as dope. Yeah, but you have to make more mouth movements. Dope. Preem. Takes longer to say preem. Why are you dope. shitting on the world of cyberpunk? <laughs> 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 You're like, it is so... I'm just... Sh I'm, I'm out here sharing something that I think is I'm cool. I'm spilling my guts out I'm out here, yeah. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to share something what that is I... Think is what is happening down there? There are three barbarian, uh, five barbarian troops, let's see. Is this even three connected? warriors, an archer, and, oh, a, and a slinger. So I guess down here on the peninsula of no one has ever been here before. I guess those oh, guys. Oh, you've got to take over Tortuga. Those guys have never. I know that says Tartuga, but it should be Tortuga. That's, what? Taruga? That's my. It should be Tortuga. I, Tortuga. Oh, like the. It should be Tortuga. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? I mean. Um, pretty far away, but I guess if I ever make my way over there. Yeah. I mean, I know all my military units are already kind of there. Uh, let's see. Kind of. Oh, before I before I start clicking on that stuff, I wanted to adjust my government policies. Shoot, adjust your I government. Can't, I can't adjust my government policies. Hey guys, we're going to become mind. a democracy now. <laughs> Manage democracy. There is a government called Digital okay. Democracy, and I like to call it Managed Democracy, because... Yeah. I mean... That sounds about right. Well, like, it, the description is like, instead of voting, your people are fed the their candidates by an algorithm. And I'm like, oh, it's literally managed democracy, like, from, from frickin'. Pretty much. From, uh, from that one game that I play too much. Uh-huh. That I forgot the name. Did you forget right the name of the no. game that you play way too much? Definitely not. No? Something uh, called, uh, Hell Divers? Hell Dippers. Dippers. Hell Dippers. Hell Dippers. <laughs> Okay, real quick, oh can I God. point out, this ranger army mm. has 77 ranged strength. So this dude with his rifle, right, it, when I do a ranged attack like that, it does 77 attack strength. This yeah. field cannon army has the same amount of ranged strength. That means this dude is carrying a field cannon army <laughs> by himself with his do but, the dog. It's the dog. But that is an anti-cavalry -caval unit, isn't it? No, no. An the tank? Neither of these are. Really? This is a recon unit, and then this is your ranged, like, anti-infantry unit. Interesting. Yeah, I don't have any anti That's stupid. <laughs> Why well, don't you? Oh, upgrade that Berserky army. Come on. I, I gotta move him closer to the frickin'. Oh, let me snipe Dang it, man, you should've upgraded him. I... I'm busy sniping trebuchets. We need an cavalry. infantry. Oh my god. I'm sniping trebuchets. Imagine having a trebuchet and just two horsemen ride up with muskets. With guns and, and just shoot you. And just boom, you're yep. gone. Purchase that one. Infantry. Um, and I guess we can get rid of that trebuchet. Or at least seriously wounded. it. <laughs> Again, <laughs> that poor one guy. 
like, you don't even point, shoot at the trebuchet, you just shoot say, at the guy. They're, they're just like historical reenactment, like, people. They're just like a bunch of uh, LARP nerds that are like, yeah. oh, we're out here, like, reenacting, you know, the operation of a, a historically accurate medieval trebuchet. Fuck! <laughs> they just get shot up. Guys, you were supposed to use dummy bullets! <laughs> blanks! It was supposed to be blanks! Like, that's what, that's what that feels like. <laughs> Oh, this poor city state. Hunza just got flipped back over to my my side. Have you ever seen a, like a civil war reenactment? Uh, not a civil war reenactment, but I have seen like reenactment. I mean, you were in the army, so you've seen reenactments everywhere. But we didn't have to reenact some of the th some of the things you didn't <laughs> want to reenact. Okay, like hey, you want to reenact? That's how you form PTSD. You want to reenact the you know that that one time in Korea? Like no, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> not a bit. Hey, look at that! I've connected two cities with a railroad. Let's go. Sweet. Yep. Tromso and my capital. Who was the um? Oh, there were stories of like John Henry or something like that that worked on the the railroad, connected New York all the way to California or something like that. Uh, I don't know my history well. John enough. Henry. I I don't know my history well enough to remember. Those kinds of names. Well, I mean, you remember, like, Johnny Appleseed, right? Johnny Appleseed, he planted all the apple trees across the United States. That sounds like a... Like a folk Kind of these, town. like, folklore Yeah, that tales. doesn't sound like a historically accurate document. Not really, no. So... Oh, she still hates us. It, or, like, Paul Bunyan and, and things like that. You yeah. know, those kind of yeah. folklore. Yeah, Twain, yeah. Mark Twain was a person. What are you talking about? No, but like about? The, the things that he would write about. Like the oh, okay, okay. Like I was like, stories. yeah. Mark Twain, Mark he, was, <laughs> you know, he was fake. He just starts saying. There's not like, like oh, an entire <laughs> town dedicated to him, practically. Yeah. There is no Queen of England. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there uh, isn't now. Yeah. Uh, hey, huh. At what point does it become <laughs> it like. Soon gonna not be a king. I was, I was gonna say, um, at what point. What? <laughs> okay, oh. okay. Wait a minute. Like, Wait well, a minute here. we're over here having a war for the survival of Greece, and you're just like, oh, like... we have the wrong religion. God damn it, Janice. I don't care. I could not yeah, care. They made us read things. They made us read the yeah. wrong religion. We're supposed to be, we're supposed to be this religion, and we're Catholic now. Like, who freaking cares? I mean, I, I guess oh they care. God. That's why they're voting on it, but... Well, that's why they're complaining about it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, um, I should have seen. But that. John Henry was like this folklore of a guy that basically built all of the railroads. Okay. Um, carried around a giant sledgehammer, and just like carved out the mountain and all sorts with of things. With a sledgehammer. Well, not just with a sledgehammer. That's how he was often depicted. Oh, I was gonna I think say. It was kind of mixed with like the prop not propaganda, but like the. Everybody knows um, when you need to dig a tunnel, uh, the the best tool to use is a sledgehammer. Well, that was honestly how they got kind of out of the Great Depression, though, of sorts. Well, was it was building... railroads. Building railroads. Maybe it was before the Great Depression. Well, anyways, like, the, the railroads happened somewhere um, during, like, Great Hardships, and that's where a lot of people found their jobs. Building railroads. Uh, lots of people died building that railroad. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a dangerous, like, you gotta worry about, like, cave-ins, and, like, yeah. I'm sure that they're living And now we just take it for granted, and it's the Amtrak that nobody takes. I mean, I was gonna say, um, you say we take it for granted, but, like, nobody, nobody travels by train anymore. We have these wonderful things called airplanes. Um, yeah, however, if you are, uh, you know, blacklisted from flying airplanes, I'm sure you take great pride in trains. Why are you blacklisted from flying airplanes? I'm not. I'm just saying that, you know, the, the crazy Karens that board airplanes and then get blackballed or blacklisted or whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> get blackballed. Oh, yeah, that... Um, yeah, no. Um, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I've never been blacklisted from flying. But I guess... Maybe. Well, then you would take trains very seriously. I was going to say, you don't really have... Like an option other than doing that, you ain't really got much of a choice. I would take a train if I was traveling for more of the journey than the destination. Um, you know, 
That's like... Because, like, there's a big difference between flying and, like, driving. Uh, you know? yeah. Obviously. I... Flying, it's like, okay, you're there. <laughs> Can I cross over some clouds? <laughs> whoop de do. I mean, depending on... Uh, having... Um, having flown to you Korea... stand in an airport for an hour, you sit on a metal tube, and then you fly over and boom, you're ha there. Having flown to and from Korea... Like some some flights, absolutely. When I when I fly like within the United States, it's definitely like that. Um, yeah. But when when I've flown internationally, it is definitely not a you fly and then you're suddenly at your destination. It's I a, know. You fly. You fly and 18 hours later you're there. You spend the entire day living on an airplane, and <laughs> and then when you arrive, you're not there. You're in Japan, and you need to wait another hour in an airport. <laughs> in customs, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, uh, and then there's paperwork. Every wants to, everyone wants to fill out. I can't vote on this. It's, there's paperwork, yep. endless mountains of paperwork that people want to fill out for like, did you bring a pocket knife to Japan? I'm like, I'm not even staying in Japan. Why do you care? Uh, yeah, well, I mean. Oh my god. This has turned into like a really long rant about like customs and travel. Like, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't, like that is... I'm just saying, like with trains, right? You're you're on, just coasting along the train, you're talking, you can like look a, out the windows at all the countryside. It's like and a cruise, that. right? But yeah, but like, it's kind of like a cruise, but... Like but smaller, because you're Less in a, water. Yeah, you're in a, and less like, alcohol. Can less you, alcohol, less Can you order people. alcohol on a, on a train? Probably. I would assume. Yeah. yeah. Most trains have bars. Um, well, yeah. How like that, How else is the train going to stay on the rail? Oh, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll... This boy's <laughs> got the jokes. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Renaissance oh, and God. Industrial. What are you counting at? Counted as Renaissance. Okay, so you're still. So at, at some point, because like right here, we've got the trifecta of a Renaissance siege unit paired with an industrial <laughs> era cavalry unit and a modern era infantry. It, unit. It's just a hodgepodge. Of like it still works, so we can still use it. I did pick up a couple medics because uh, they so... pulled the cannon out of the museum. It hadn't been filled with concrete yet. Oh. Uh, is that how they? Is that how they freaking mu museumize? Most, uh, yeah, most firearms they'll pour concrete into, uh, specifically possible. cannons. Yeah. Um, there's okay. a battlefield nearby where I live, and they have some cannon, field cannons sitting out there, but they're all filled with concrete. Hmm. Uh, all but one, you which should, they do demonstrate with sometimes. You should, you should uh, steal one. And what <laughs> would I do with a concrete-filled cannon? Take the concrete out, and then. Uh, Threaten your neighbors. Little tough. <laughs> Little tough to get rid of concrete. Out threaten, of a tube. threaten your neighbors with it. <laughs> Invade their Just backyard. Roll up with it connected to a truck and be like, yep. Yeah. It's like you guys. You, uh, your grass has been a little high. I think you want to mow it now. On behalf of um, the homeowners associates. <laughs> Oh no, that's how the HOA is keeping people in line. Yeah, with the, you know, with those... They just roll around with a cannon. <laughs> I hope Herp that's... you by seven, or you might see a hole come through your house. Yeah, I was gonna say, I hope that that's not what homeowners associate with these days. I've heard... I've heard horror stories. Oh man, there's horror stories everywhere. That, that's been one of the... Cause like, I didn't know that homeowners associations were even a thing. Until mm -hmm. I started, uh, there was a brief period of time where, right after I was getting out of the army, um, where I was looking to get a house. I was like, oh, you know, I've got, like, I've got the, the capital available to put down a good down payment. So maybe I should start looking at getting a house. And, uh, yeah. I, I could not find a house in my area that was not under the thumb of some homeowners association. Yeah. It was, they, it did not exist. Why are you a able? A lot of urban areas are like that. It's ridiculous. Why are you able to display works in a bank? I, I still don't. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Wolfgang. Look... Oh yeah. Fantastic. Wolfgang Look Amadeus that. Mozart. Honestly. Thank I, you, buddy. I think so. They have. Uh, let's see. Great works. 
They have a, yeah, this gallery right here. Bank and Sterling. All of my great works. Oh, we got penis! And I think, yeah, if I pull this up here, like, it plays the a little bit of the song. Displayed in the Bank of Sterling, wait. So, great, um, <laughs> what is it? Great, great musicians. Uh, you're supposed to build radio stations for them, but we haven't researched radio yet. It's up here. Yeah, let's build a radio station so, so that way Mozart can play. Well, I was gonna say, radio apparently, station. he's fine with like having. Just imagine you go to the bank and there's a whole fucking orchestra there playing Mozart. There, there are some like large scale banks that have a piano in their uh, their lobby. That's okay. This is Mozart, though. He's like <laughs> performing his masterpiece his symphonies in a oh fucking bank which like i mean bravo to him you know i'm uh, i'm not knocking it like that's pretty cool i do want to imagine campus. like beethoven going to a public <laughs> bank and playing his fifth or something like <laughs> everybody's like, like talking about money and then excuse me i need to make a deposit also let me play you a song <laughs> and then starts busting out the fifth <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god. You know, oh, back to HOAs though. I did see one, and there was a video posted about it, where a... Oh, uh, the HOA representative came up to the front door, mm. and they were talking through the ring, uh, doorbell. Okay. And he's like, did you change the locks to your house? He's like, I certainly did. It's like, well, you're not supposed to be able to do that, because we need to have copies of your keys, that way we can go in if something were wrong, or, you know, like that. And it's like... I... I'm sorry, this isn't an apartment complex, <laughs> it's someone's home. Why would you like, give someone else the keys to your house? Yeah, it's just... I mean, unless you odd. trust... Them. I don't think... They were like, I think they were new homeowners, though. So it was like, they found out that they had copies of the keys, and like, no, we're changing the law. <laughs> Which I don't blame them. Uh, we're, Why we're change, would an HOA need to go in your house? We're changing the locks specifically so that you don't have copies of them. I, I think in most uh, instances that would be uh, breaking and entering. What if you have a key um, to someone else's house and then you? Go if inside? they have unauthorized access to your house, yeah. I, I mean, especially in HOA. Why would you ever, as an HOA, need to have access to somebody's home? It what seems is the point of that. It seems a little bit corrupt. Yeah. What I know from HOAs is, let's see. Oh, uh. Golden, golden age. Let's see. The um, the only reason an HOA should exist is if like the neighborhood has a public pool or something like that, and they have governance over the pool, and that's it. That's where it extends. Oh, and that the, stay the fuck out of my house. I was gonna say, wouldn't wouldn't the like the city have governance over public? Like not always. Areas? No. So if it's private land, um, then the person like, who owns land the land by a developer. And the person, yeah, who, yeah the company that owns yeah, the land. Yeah, that's where the HOA would come in. The The developer of that land is the HOA. They have governance over, like, who does all the mowing, who maintains the pool, who does blah, 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 yada, yada, blah. You sound like you have experience with this kind of thing. Uh, no. No? No experience with <laughs> no. HOAs? Luckily not, uh, no. Um, I just remember the one uh, lady from... What was that movie? Over the Hedge. Over the Hedge. Um, where, <laughs> where you know, they were... Uh, Your grass is supposed to be 2.3 yeah, inches, yeah, but I measured it, and it's 2.5. Exactly. It's like, whoa. Like, it, it freaking... I'm, a, I'm the president of a homeowners association. <laughs> she was she the original, slugs a cop. <laughs> she was the original Karen. Oh, my God. That movie is awesome. I need to watch that it. That movie... I confused that movie with a different movie. Um, what is uh -huh. the name of it? The Nut Different Job. Movie. Well, okay, the because... What job? The Nut Job. Have you never seen the Oh, is that the one with squirrels or whatever? Both of the movies have squirrels. In them. Both of the well, movies, Over the Hedge has a squirrel. Both of the movies prominently display squirrels, I thought. I don't know, it's been a while no, since I've seen... the main over character the in Over the Hedge is a raccoon. A and a turtle, right? And a turtle, a turtle, yeah. yeah. Then Those... there's Hammy, who is a squirrel. That's but... the guy that I'm thinking of. Uh... It was voiced by, um, good old Michael himself. But Michael? <laughs> Michael. Michael Scott. I don't know who that is. <laughs> In the office? 
Oh, uh, I don't watch The Office. Oh my god. <laughs> like I said, I'm uncultured, alright? Unlike how oh, I am in the game, boy. I have a lot, I have tons of culture in the game. But in real life, I just realized like 48.8. .8. So a full third of my culture is coming from one city. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Ah, oh, Jesus. Eagles fly if you the oh. turrets round and seem to flaunt the sky. They eye those walls now crumbling in decay and scarce oh. quiet rest their destined prey. That was okay. a lot of words, and I'm not sure that I'm intelligent enough to make heads or tails of it, but it looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Steel. Yeah. yeah. Most of the time. Yeah, Hammy, Hammy the Squirrel is played by Steve Carell. Noted. Um, yeah. I, I'm sure that that person is a notable individual. That you know who people, Steve Carell is. He's cult, a very big actor. Culture people. Um, I don't. Okay. If you, I, I think you underestimate how little I know about things in general. If you start a <laughs> sentence with "Hey, do you know?" the answer is probably no, oh. because I don't know things. God, that was you such a problem. Me. Well, okay. Growing up, I didn't have like access to. Growing the up in the backwoods of Arkansas. Have, I mean, basically, I grew up in in Texas. Texas, which I not really like a back, backwoods area. Like I grew up in a city, but I wasn't allowed to like experience a lot of shit that was of the era. Honestly, uh -huh. just the other day, I was lamenting the fact that I didn't like. I would have. I would have been a Hunger Games kid if I had the chance because it was uh, coming out right like that, that was my time. that was my era that was my time and I would have been all over that shit um yeah but the Hunger Games uh is for babies this intelligence. I, no it's actually a no good it's for anyway. it's for it's for children 12 to 17 <laughs> yeah <laughs> the exact age not for where babies you can be <laughs> oh my god that's Literally for children 12 to 17. Ooh, on that note, I think we should take a break. Oh, I thought you were you were gonna oh say something, but yeah, I it probably a good idea to, to shut up. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll talk to you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Right. Bye bye. Bye. In a world, that's how all the teen dystopias start. E well, in a world.